that's crazy. It's, it's kind of made me different. I'm just saying. I heard, okay. Mr. Different. Uh, all right. So let me see. Uh, okay. All right. So D, you do you have a do you have a YouTube? I do not have a YouTube. No, I, okay. I'm just on Instagram. You're just on Instagram. All right. So I think the video that we talked that that you talked about where you let me see if I can find it. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Cause you you was talking about uh you was talking about um not having things and then now you was able to do a lot of things because be the trucker. There we go. That you was that that you're able to do a lot of things when you was pulled over. Uh not pulled over, but you were stuck. <laughs> And you yeah. had to, and you got to get wrenched out. Is this the video? Hold on, right quick. Uh, nope. Hold on, right quick. I'm about to, I'm about to bring it, I'm about to bring it up so you can see what I'm seeing. So hold on, right quick. Uh, uh, is that it right there? All right, cool. All right. So which video is it? Uh, go up, go up. Um, is it uh, it's that one right now. It's the the yellow and the one in the middle with the yellow thing on it. No, no, um, no. The one next to that one. Right here? Yeah, the receipt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. that one. Yeah, the testimony. Yeah. Paid from yesterday. Yeah. Well, this morning, actually. Um, so I got pulled out of Yeah, so this this is the testimony video. This is the one I want yes. to this is the one I want to talk to you about because you were saying so, you know, you was being so passionate in that video because you were saying yeah, I was crying. You, you you came from you 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 came from where you couldn't afford nothing to now going into your pocket and actually pulling out the money needed to get wrenched out. Yeah. All right. It's it is it, I mean hold, hold that thought. I'm jumping off, is this a needed suicide? I hope my parachute don't let me down I hope I get the fly I don't know why, why I feel like I gotta die to be alive I don't know why, it feel like people are standing still With no desire, I'm on the wire Wobbling back and forth, the balance clown I won't be happy if I'm not moving forward, then send me down My vibration for eternity will continue to come around So I gotta do this right, I gotta live, I gotta So people that y'all can see me now What's going on everybody? Lockout man back again Yes sir, with another one tonight Welcome to the Lockout Man podcast show This is where we park in politics with all our guests tonight and joining me, of course, as always, my special guest for the evening, the lovely D, the trucker. Hello. D, the trucker. How you doing? How you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm in... Um... I'm in Sumner, Washington right now. I just was able to uh, link up with an old friend. So I was able to get off the truck for a little bit. So today was actually a pretty good day. <laughs> uh, old. After I get off with you, I'm going to bed though. <laughs> mm. An old friend, yeah. huh? An oh, old, no, 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 no. This old, is an old college friend. An old college friend, huh? It's just getting better. It's just getting better and better. An old college friend. No, no, no. This is this is a very married friend. Mm -mm. A, a very married old college oh, friend. Oh my lord! You know what? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, let me stop. Mm -mm. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what they say about us truck drivers, man. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they say, but that ain't me. <laughs> and I ain't. <laughs> 
<laughs> you say yeah. you say you say that's not me. You say it's not me. It ain't me. That ain't me. That ain't, ain't, ain't me. No, you, no sir. You, you're not. You're no, not sir. that. You, you you're not the happy home make uh, the home record, huh? No, I am not. Uh uh, I stay to myself. I stay on my truck. I make my money, and that's it. That's all I do. Well, before we get it, but before we get into all of that, do do you have do you have a, a a relationship? No, I do not have a relationship. Why? I tried. Why? It, why, it, why, it, you, why, no. why you don't have a relationship? What's going on, D the trucker? They cannot handle me not being home. They just can't. They say they can. And then I guess they don't believe me when I tell them that I'm on the road two or three months at a time and it just don't work out. So, 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 so a, so a guy, uh, that, that, that you will probably meet and you say something like, Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Y'all get to talking. <laughs> Y'all get to talking. And then. Uh -huh. You 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 tell him that you're that you're a truck driver. He tells you he's you know a worker or whatever, and you tell him like you know hey you know I'm I'm out on the road for like three four months at a time. What what do he what what would he normally say to you if when you tell him something like that? Typical responses. Oh, that's cool. I'm good with that. I'm usually upfront and honest. I'm like, hey, I'm not looking for a relationship, which I'm not. Because right now I'm working on me, which is the truth. Stop. And right stop, now I just stop. I, uh -oh. Stop. Oh God. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> All you okay. Okay. All right. I'm 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 channeling my my Kevin Samuels right now. Oh Lord. Uh, there you go. You you say there you, you, go. You, you say you're you say you're working on you. Yes. How long have you been working on you? months now oh okay so, so you you just started working yeah i just you. i just started working on me okay getting more like more like getting serious about life and not playing around and bsing about it yeah. okay so what was what was what was you doing before you started working on you and when did you figure that it was time to work on you I mean, when you finally get tired of hitting rock bottom, I guess, and, and that's pretty much what it was for me. I mean, I was at a lot of dead end jobs and I just wasn't, you know, where I wanted to be mentally, financially, spiritually. I just wasn't there. And, um, and it, I think I had to hit rock bottom. I think this whole, the whole COVID thing kind of like hit everybody in a weird split in a weird place. And, and it definitely had an effect and a toll on me. And, um, I mean, it was the worst, but yet the greatest year of my life, 2020. So um, it's, I finally hit rock bottom. I feel like I, I needed to do something about it. How am I supposed to sit here and try to get a relationship with somebody and ask of certain things? And I can't offer those things in return. I just, okay. I don't no. think that's fair. I'm not going to I, I feel you. And this, and this is some totally honest stuff right here that you can honestly say, like, look, let, let me work on myself first before I can mm -hmm. start asking what I want of you pretty much. Right. That's right. That's right. Cause they got a list too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. You gotta be so real you, with it. They so, got a list too. so you, so you're upping your value pretty much. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what's up. That's what's like up. That. I'm upping my value. I like that a lot. Yes. Okay. That's, okay. That's a good way to put it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you won't be the you you won't be the type of person that you can you can you the type of person that you can actually bring something to the table when it's there time, you go. when it's time. Because I want I want my own. I want to have my own. I want them to have their own. That's okay. It. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. D the trucker. To, uh, let's let's give me a little bit of history about yourself. Where. You know, what's your background? Because I, when I called you up, it says Washington State. So is that's where you wait? Washington State, Washington State. No, I'm in. No, I'm in Washington State. Um, you, you know, this is where my load dropped me off at. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
So where, yeah. so where, so where are you from? Where are you from? What's your background? I, I'm originally from Brooklyn. I was born in Hempstead. I grew up in Brooklyn. Um, I moved to the South about 12 years ago. I moved to South Carolina. Uh, and then about six years ago, I moved to uh, Georgia. Okay. So uh, I call Georgia home right now. So coming up out of coming up out of Brooklyn, man, like I mean, you know, I, I probably could understand why you probably moved from Brooklyn, <laughs> but but tell me. Oh, you why. know the reason why I moved from Brooklyn. <laughs> well, well, tell me why you how long ago did you move? Well, you said 12 years ago. 12 so, years ago, yeah. So 12 years ago, why why uh you so born and raised in Brooklyn? I was born in Hempstead, Long Island. I was raised in Brooklyn. Okay, okay. So this, uh, how how old are you? I'm 38. 38. I'll be 39 this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you was born. So you was born well in into the 90s, right? 90s. Yeah, I was born in early 80s. I was raised in the 90s. Yeah, I was. I grew so up pretty much in 90s. You're a 90s kid. So you, you I know, brought, you know, Brooklyn, New York, hip hop. Who, who, if anybody that you, that that you probably touch touch with or grew up with in Brooklyn? Because there's a lot of hip hop artists around the '90s came out of Brooklyn. Oh yeah, Lost Boys, Boot Camp, uh, Boot Camp Click, Helter Skelter, uh, Method Man. Um, do you know any? Now let me ask you this. Now you you're running them off, but do you know them personally? Um, I knew uh, Mr. Cheeks growing up. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, boot camp click though. Uh, the dudes you are actually from my block. Um, but yeah, but I mean, when I say I, I, I don't like, um, personally know them. I personally knew Mr. Cheeks, and I personally knew the uh, dudes of uh, boot camp click. But um, but the rest of them, I'm just fan, just a fan of their music. Fan of just, the music. Just the music that I grew up with. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you know, the Junior Mafia and stuff like that. You got to right. love Biggie. Brooklyn, you know, From shout out to Biggie, life. you know, rest in peace. Uh, right. Rest in peace to Biggie Smalls. Um, but uh, coming up, what what was it like coming up in Brooklyn? It it was fun. I mean, I my best memories is from there. I absolutely love it. It's always going to be home to me. But, you know, it's just gentrification is real, man. You just, it's just way too pricey out there. You know what I'm saying? Like the one bedroom apartment that used to cost us $560 is now going for almost 3000 a month. It's just crazy. So it's, I mean, I'm always going to have a love for it. Um, it's, it's different now. Like they have a Starbucks in the middle of the neighborhood. It's kind of crazy to see that now. Um, but it's, it's always going to be a soft spot, but is it the same? Is is it's not the same. If you ask anybody who's born and raised in Brooklyn, they're gonna tell you Brooklyn's not the same. All so right. none of y'all come after me if y'all if y'all hear that. Now you know, <laughs> um now you know, uh there's there's some sad well, it's not sad news as far as terrible news because you know he's still at this point fighting for his life. But you know, yeah. uh DMX, uh Dog Man X is fighting for his life right now in the uh in the hospital i just got an update about um that he was just revived like three times already i wow man i you know drugs man mm, mm, mm. i mean you i mean functioning functioning drug addicts is a real thing man i mean the, i I don't, that dude has been through a lot um, mentally, emotionally, and he just, he just couldn't fight the demons that he was fighting with. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I know functioning drug, drug addicts right now, and I know how they move. I'm really not surprised. What I am surprised that it's taken this long for something like this to happen to him. I never wish nothing like this to happen on anybody, and I really hope he makes it out of his great artist. You know, would love to see him make music again because right now the music that's coming out is real sucky. So it would be be nice for him to ah. get off that bed and make another album. Ah. <laughs> you say it. So. I agree, man. I mean, the well, you know, shout out to my shout out to my nephew. Uh, well, not my nephew, but to my cousin. You know, being the youngest, uh, 
producer on Money Bad Records. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. But um, okay. but as far as 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 far you, you, since you mentioned that, as far as the music that is out, it's no good, man. It it's is not no good. It's no. But all they're doing is mumbling and making noises and stuff like that. I remember back in the day, you used to tell a story from beginning to end. You knew what was going on. You know, you had. You had Lost Boys, let me use them as excuse. I mean, as an as a example, you know, you, he had a chick named Renee. He met one day on her way back from John Jay. You knew the whole story from beginning to the end. And, and you know, it was, but now it's like, what the hell are you talking about? What are you saying? They're just making random noises. I got, I got this, I got that. I make this amount of money. I'm boning this broad. Now, let me. She's bending now, it over. Now let, now, let me ask you this. Now, since she's saying, you know, about, you know, about some of the music, but you got, what do you, what, how do you feel about, how do you feel about the female music though? The, the Cardi B and the Megan Stallion and, uh, uh, and, uh, and the other, and the other lady rappers out here that's just throwing music out. Now, I will stop and say that Doja Cat Streets, I love that song. And the only reason why I love it is because of the silhouette challenge. I'm just saying. But I do love that song. But the the WAP and the and the everything else, no, I'm not no. That's right. That's radio stuff. That's that's just to get people hyped in the club. That's not I, I wouldn't consider that real rap. That's just me. I mean, I, I can appreciate someone like like Remy Ma. She's actually saying something on the track. Um, it's not too many female rappers that I can say is actually like spitting bars. Like it's 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 something to put a song together. Now, don't get me wrong. Like these women have some catchy songs, but now, like hold up. now hold up. Wait a minute. There is. Hey guys. Whoa, wait so, a minute. Hold um, on. Let me stop. Let me stop that. There is one. What's, there what's is, that? There is one. Hold on right quick. Hold on. There oh, is right. one. There is one. Find me something from Rap City or something like that. Uh, no, no, hold on. I'm about to get I'm about I'm about to get you hip to her in a minute. Hold on. What? Hold on. I'm about to get I'm about to get you hip to her right now. I'm Don't about say to get, young and May. No, 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 no. Now I'm, young I'm, and May can spit bars though. Hold on. I'm I'm about to get you hip to her right now hold on right quick hold on let me let me hold on let me go to her morning her morning exercise uh oh gosh, you got morning exercises uh okay all right here we go in 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 um what's the word i'm looking for in not in remembrance in celebration in well, in celebration of DMX, my girl, up, this is 3D not T. Monday 3D not T. Yes, 3D not T. Listen to listen listen to my girl about to spit over DMX's uh uh sipping. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Hold on, I gotta wait for my internet to. Feel from Timothy Mosley, hoping I revert back to the old me. And then ourselves, wishing me well, yet really hoping I fail. Had me sleeping with the folk. Okay, hold on. I, I, Secret. I, I, Had me looking for property, shit, and possibly leaving. Cause I don't want to end up like another Mac, no, your shorty. These niggas salty, serving nicks like naughty. I did too, but I had nightmares of letting that hold me. Last month I hit 20,000 off CD, baby, cause my CD crazy. Making the killing, get ready, you'll never play me, oh well. In these cells that my pockets fed as Lavelle. Yet y'all fuckers rather see me locked in jail. Don't hold your breath though, I'm moving up like jet throw, like Pac on deck roll. Uh, Scott from Modesto, killing chicks with the best flow. I ready get rest, so I got bags coming, trying to keep them bags coming. That's the result, being broken. I see what I'm saying. The jabs, now I sit back. See what I'm saying? See what mm. I'm saying? Mm. See, I'm not impressed I, by that. Ah, yeah. I, I, she, hey, listen. That's just one. Just go okay. to three, just just go to three D nine T on her YouTube because she got a gang of them. She got a gang of them. I'm <laughs> okay. Just I'm, I'm just saying she got a gang of them. 
the girl, okay. the girl is fire. You know, I, you know, like I said, if anybody, if anybody that I'm gonna that that I'm gonna promote is gonna be her. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But okay. everybody, everybody else, you know what I'm saying? They they cool, you know. She's she's Magnolia owned. She's she spit bars. She's an entrepreneur. I mean, the whole bag. You know what I'm saying? But as far as as far as the rap, uh, the hip hop, and all like that, that's the one. And I will throw I, I will throw a ball at you for uh for um what's the girl name that you just mentioned? Um, Remy Ma. Remy Ma. Definitely fire and young and man. I'll 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 give I'll give her the ball too. And and I would I would really like for Eve to make another album. Uh, Eve, Eve also just Eve, Eve, Eve's fire, but she haven't you know that's her, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like me, I'm an old head. I like the old rappers. I do I, too. I like, I like when the female rappers were trying to be like the dudes. I hate to say that like that, but that's when they put their best effort into it. They really did. They were trying to be better than the guys. That's what their purpose was. I hate to well, say look, that like that. I need look, a Queen Latifah album. Look, I need for her to stop singing jazz. Look, look I need here. for her to bring look, her rap out. Look, look here. Queen Latifah. All right. Mm -hmm. Hip hop. Queen Latifah. Missy. Right? Missy, not, not, Missy, not, 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 not the hip, not, not the Queen Latifah now that's trying to do the. Trying we to don't need life. Dana Owens. We, we yeah. need Queen Latifah. We need, Queen Latifah. We need you and I T Y. Right. Sister Soldier. Queen Latifah. Oh, Sister Soldier. Sister Soldier. Sister Soldier. She needs to come back. Um. Yeah. Let me see. Who was the girl that rapped with Queen Latifah? The. And see light. The late, no, the Yo -yo. ladies first. No, she did ladies. She was she ladies first. That was the name of the song. The 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 other chick. I forgot the I forgot the chick name. Moni. Moni, Moni in the middle. Moni in the middle. Moni Love. She needs to come. Moni back. Love. Yeah. Yo yo. Yep, I right. Agree. You you said yo 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 yo. yo. She needs to come back. She needs. Yo -yo MC needs Light. M MC Light still got bars. I, I All heard. Day. And Missy, we cannot forget about Missy. Oh, because her sure. new her, her her recent album is is fire. Her recent album is real good. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I, I I had to give it to Missy. Missy, Missy. Yeah, Missy's Missy is pretty good. Missy, Missy is yeah. the one. Missy is definitely the one. But, tell me. But now, it's not it's not too many. Hmm? I, I said, but it's not too many like female rappers like that's like out there like really doing it right now i mean like again i'm i can respect the artist like young, young ma because she's actually i mean she can actually stand on her own two feet it's not all about um you know catchy hooks and stuff like that exactly. I, I can appreciate that exactly just, so hip hop yeah. hip hip hop as a whole hip hop as a whole just had changed the landmark from from the 80s, the 90s. I mean, and it's all it's all broken down too because like the way the the way they came in the 80s with the with the storytelling, the lyrical, the lyrical back and forth, you know, the 90s which was a little bit more upbeat, beat driven, you know what I'm saying, but it was still lyrical. You know, it was still <laughs> lyrical. And then the yeah. two, then the 2000s just no, but well, you had Outcast in the two thousands. Outcast, you had no, um, no. Outcast was in it. No, Outcast wasn't in. Outcast was in. No, no, I'm not. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about that. What is what's that first album they had called? Um, a Alien something. Outcast. They no, called? they first album was Southern Playlistic Cadillac Music. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't the I, alien. The Alien thing. That no, was the that, Alien album. No, they, that was they. No, the first album. They they first album was Southern. Hey guys, why did I keep so, bringing you up? Hold on, right quick. <laughs> we gonna. I I I I see you Google. I see you. Hold on. Uh, that's hold my on. voice. <laughs> hold, hold on, right quick. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Let me. Uh. All right. Outcast first album. Outcast's first album is Southern Playalistic Cadillac Music. See. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. But they baby. had stink. They had stink on you. Stink on you. Hi. Good album. How can I help? Uh, 
no, we, I don't need your help now, uh, Google. <laughs> All uh, right, but first you'll have to unlock your device. <laughs> Google, oh, damn, try, you Google, Google trying to come in and, and try to wreck something. Hush up, Google. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, AT Aliens, uh, 96. Acumeni, uh, 98. Oh, damn. Uh, speaker, speak, speaker box, the love box. below, uh, 2003. Okay. Thank on you was 2000. Uh, oh, okay. Big well, boy, you are 90, you are 90 big, um, rapper. Big Boy and Dre presents uh, the hits, 2001. Uh, and then it goes into Idlewild, the soundtrack for the uh, Idlewild movie. That was a good one, too. And, that was a good and, one. And yeah, 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 most definitely. And let's not forget about Ludacris, Chicken and Beer. Oh, There's not Luke. too many Southern rappers I like, but those those two, that group and, and Ludacris, I pretty like. I like them. Oh, yeah. Not none sure. of they... You know, I'm a yeah. I'm a fan I'm I'm a fan of Ludacris I'm I I'm a fan of Ludacris the the rapper and the actor I mean you know yeah he's a, he's a multi talented yeah. guy yeah, yeah he, he does. actually he needs to come back out with another one though for real but he's doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff but like, like still, him and his wife is doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff he, he can still come yeah. out with an album though I mean the last album which was Ludaversal I I think that was, I, I liked it and then I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it as much as I liked it his other projects. Right. It seemed like he was like a little more hungrier. You always tell yeah. when when an artist first comes out. You can always tell, exactly. Hungry. You can always yeah. tell when an artist is hungry. Like they come yeah. out with they come out with some damn fire. Yeah. And then Ludacris is still spending that Fast and Furious money. <laughs> he good now. <laughs> he is good. You know, like I said, Ludaversal, Luna, I, I think that I, I think that album was just was just to show that he still had it. You you see what right. I'm saying? No, I get it. I can see I get you, you you know who I feel that still raps like they hungry. And you might want to you might disagree with me on this, but I think Jay-Z still raps like he hungry. Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jay Z can't can't do no wrong. Jay Z can't do no wrong. Mm -mm. No, they, that man does not throw out garbage at all. He will not put out garbage at all. I don't think there's anything Jay Z made that I don't like. Even his first 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 album, like the bootleg stuff that he was selling on Fulton, everything. There's there's absolutely nothing this man has made that I have not liked. I yeah. agree. Even to this day. Yeah, Jay Z I, can't do no wrong. I agree. All right. Now, who I wish would get their stuff together is Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne oh needs to get his stuff no, together. I don't, I don't know what the hell stop. he doing. I don't know what he doing. Do, do, I got, <laughs> do I got to pump the brakes on here right quick? Do, do I got that? Do, do I See Lil Wayne get it together, man. Pump the brakes up on here. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe I can use this one. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll use that one because Lil Wayne. Wayne. I, I, the little Wayne of late, no. Uh, uh, yeah, but the little that. Wayne of back in the day, yes. No, you can't. You can't compare them to. You can't compare little Wayne from back in the day till now because little Wayne back in the day was just dropping nothing but fire. Now it's it's shitty. That's it, what it, I'm it, saying. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I love little Wayne. I love like before the red Kool Aid cup, little Wayne. But it's like now. I don't, I don't know about you, him now. You said you said the you said before the red little cup, little Wayne. God yeah, damn it, man! Man, right, oh man. Right. that's that's when he, crazy. He was, when he still had a little fat in his face, that's 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 it. That's 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 the that's the little Wayne that I like. I I got you. I got you. So, dude, <laughs> trucker man, you you how, how long you been trucking, man? How how long you been uh truck driving? Um, by my well, I've been driving by myself since December. Um, I started training in July. Um, so it, so technically, uh, it'll be a total of it'll be a year come July, July fourteenth. 
All right. What 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 uh what what made you come to what what made you come to trucking? What what you was doing before you got into trucking? You know, this is um, before trucking, by the way. right before before trucking, I was working with kids. Um, I was you a look, counselor. You know what? You you look like a person that worked with kids. <laughs> you just got that. You just got that. I'm a person that worked with kids aura. Well, well, well. Yeah, I um, I had it was it was a lot mentally. I was a, a counselor at a, it was like a rehabilitation center, and um, and most of the the kids were there for him was from the age of seven until the age of seventeen. Um, a lot of them came from different different backgrounds. Um, and uh, they turned to uh, drugs and. And they ended up in, in the facility that I worked at. Wow. Uh, yeah. can, can you give us like a like a brief story of, of you know, uh, was something um, that might have happened? Something you had you had a seven year old that witnessed her mother, father and grandmother commit suicide. You had a 17 year old that has been in sex trafficking since she was 10 years old. Ooh. You had um a 15 year old who uh, contacted um, AIDS from her father Wait. Um, after multiple rapes is from her father. Mm -hmm. The father raped her. The father thought, thought he thought he she he he thought of her as his girlfriend. He had his wife, which is her mother, and he thought of her as his girlfriend. And he he brutally raped her for years. That had that that had to that had to be it, some it, type of mind fuck right there. Took it took a it took a toll on me. It really did. And um, but COVID hit, and they had to um, you know, draw back on the uh, funding and stuff like that. Um, so I was since I was like the most recent person to get hired. I had worked for the company for three years, and I was the most recent hire. So I was the one that was let go. I was one of two that was let go because of that. Oh my God! So what about the what, what about the kids there though? I mean, what what type of I hate I, I, I hate to ask I I hate to ask this, but what type of help that a person or the young lady that got raped by her father multiple times? What kind of help could you provide that kid? I mean, the only thing that you can really do is just to provide a safety zone for them, just to make them feel as safe as they possibly can, to allow them to express themselves any way that they choose to. Because at that particular age, that's pretty much when a girl is starting to come into her own and stuff like that. And, you know, and you don't realize how much your trauma takes a toll on you and, and how you behave and what you turn into. And so you pretty much allow them to express themselves the way that they can without physically harming them or harm, harming anyone else. By the time they get to the facility that I worked at, they were pretty bad. They were self-harming themselves. They were pretty much doing anything to kind of, you know, forget what was going on with them. Um, a lot of them are medicated. Um, a lot of them are given um, a lot of, a lot of therapy. Um, and then you just, find ways to for, to help them cope with what's going on. I mean, you can't help them forget because that's, that's just not going to happen. But how about, you just help them cope as much how, as possible. How about the young lady that was sex trafficked for, for all that time? What, 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 what kind of help you think you, you think that need that's needed for her? For her, it's, it's pretty much that your safe place is not with your pimp. A lot of those girls that came there we literally had to stop all communication. We had to literally, because the girls would try their best to get in contact with their pimps, tell them where they are, for them to come pick them up. Um, so you just have to completely, they're completely brainwashed of, of what, is, what is normal and what's not normal. Stop they're normal, thinking. right. And their normal is, is pretty much this man doing whatever he wants to do and and they be, and that person become their safe place that person become their mother father sister brother this person can become god to one of these girls and they will do anything even though it is abuse will do anything to get back to that so um you just have to constant reinforcement just just to remind them of 
what actual normal behaviors are, what normal relationships are. Um, sometimes they accept it, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you ha you just have to hope. I mean, like there was a girl that graduated from the program and told us everything that we needed to hear. And within 24 hours was back with her pimp. Mm. And he didn't find her, she found him. Mm. So, I mean, it's, it's all about just for trying to provide a safe, a safe zone because the trauma is already there. Ain't nothing you can really do about that. Just allow them to talk it out and try to to teach them what positive relationships are the best way that you can and um, try to find them coping skills because they're going to act out, stuff like that. The Remind them that a coping skill does not mean snorting cocaine or smoking weed or, or whatever their drug of choice is. That a coping skill could be, you know, writing in your journal or, you know, going out somewhere, getting you some fresh air, you know, go talk to a friend or something like that. You need things that we take for granted. These girls are not even thinking about, they, they, you know, like it's like the whole world is coming down on them. And, and some of the situations that some of these girls have been in, I, I, I can't even imagine going through, I have had going through them at that age. It's Man, that's, just that sounds, that, that sounds like, that sounds, that sounds tough to be, to 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 be a uh an associate in that type of in in that type of situation how how did that how how did that how did that affect you working with with all these kids that came in from uh egregious backgrounds man how, how did that affect you well i mean when i first started excuse me i used to take I used to take work home with me a lot. I used to get very agitated and um, because it, it would bother me real bad. I used to have to brace myself every time I looked at a file or if a new person came in, you know, you would sit there and listen to the girl tell her story. And it would, you know, it's a part of your brain that tells you this can't be real until you look into their file and you realize, dang, this, this, this really happened. This person is really dealing with this type of stuff. I think after a while though, you know, I didn't necessarily become numb to it, but I learned to leave work at work because it, at one point I had to go to counseling myself because it was just, it was just way too much. That was, that was just going on there. Wow. And hearing, hearing them type of stories can place trauma on you too. Cause I mean, because you just have to sit there and you have to face this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would it's imagine. amazing. Yeah, you have a seven-year-old who pretty much has lived more life than you have in 30 years. And they they've lived they've lived through the most horrific stuff at seven. And you you just can't comprehend something like that happening to a young child. But I mean it happens all the time. So coming and you so, just have to remind yourself of that. So when would when when would you let go from that? I was let I was let go October October or November of 2019 2019 so mm -hmm. uh doing so doing all that doing all that time uh being a social worker what what made you what what, what made you get into trucking dog I asked okay when I was about about 26 or 27 uh, a friend of mine um was dating a trucker and, um, you know, and she was just talking to me about, you know, what life was like for her and how much money she was making and stuff like that. I'm like, damn, I could drive a truck. I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, it, you know, it, it was, it, I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was as hard as it, as it looked. And I made the mistake of signing up for Swift. <laughs> and I signed up for Swift. And then, now listen, listen I, here, hold up now. Hold up. Listen here. Swift is not that bad. Well, I don't know how it is now. Now you gotta remember, we're talking ten years ago. Oh, so okay. I don't, yeah, so I don't know how how it is now. But so you 10 had years to, ago. But wait, whoa, 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 hold on. So you saying you had your license for ten years now? No, no, no. I did not have my license for ten years. Oh, okay. I because to, I could have sworn you said you just got your license. No, I just got my license. Oh, okay. No, I, okay. I had, yeah, you went you went to Swift and you got your permit and you got your license and all that all in one. All right. So, when you first, yeah. So all right. So let's bring it back. Let's 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 bring it back from the ten all the way up to the now. 
And you said you you said you had some issues with Swift. Yeah, no, you... Now Swift, then 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 I don't know. Again, I don't know how they are now. But then they were like they were a bunch of scam artists. I couldn't even imagine how anybody got their CD. I couldn't imagine how anybody could get um, past a program like that. I mean, literally, they had you on this dirt road and you were literally walking beside this truck for hours while the other person was driving in a straight line. It, it was very different. Now, again, I don't know how they do stuff now, but back then it wasn't it. But what made me not continue was they had a tendency to show you videos of truck crashes. And the purpose of it was to be honest, what could possibly happen? Right. And they showed me one of them damn videos, and the next day I was on the bus back home. <laughs> I, I wasn't ready. I was not ready for that. All right, so, you was, so you was not ready. You I wasn't went, ready. <laughs> you, you went back home. You went back home, back home. Thought about yes. it. You thought about yeah. it. And, and you and said, made up my mind go ahead and do it again. It, yeah. And then, like, now i think what happened was is my back was against the wall it was uh january january of 2020 and um i was driving lyft at the time and i had made the decision that i was not going to renew my lease um in january and i said you know what i'm going to go to truck driving school so i'm going to spend a, a month and i'm going to sleep in the car and i'm going to do lyft i'm gonna do that for a month and then I'm gonna go to truck driving school. That's what I decided I was gonna do. I didn't want to renew hey my lease. So, oh, right but there. there we go. Every every time I bring that up, it pops up your your video. But I'm about I'm about to play that in a minute because what you're what you're talking right now of what you had to do back in the day, uh, mm -hmm. back in the day is your testimony from what you uh, from what you did in this in this video, right? Yeah. All right. So hold on. <laughs> Hold on, we okay. about to we about to bring it up. There you are, be the trucker. That is me. That is me. Well, um, this is pretty much like an update from yesterday. Well, this morning actually. Um, so I got pulled out of off the ice and the snow. This guy literally showed up, and within fifteen minutes, quick three or four tugs on my deer guard got me out of the snow. Now, we over here talking about driving trucks. Um, the, the real money is these record services and, and, and these tows and shit because this dude made $900, $900 within 15 minutes, okay? The and the entire time that he was standing outside pushing that button, he was on his phone. Now, you know, we being truck drivers, you know, we, we, we can't be on our phones while we're driving. No, we can't. We, we, can't. we, can't, we can't be on our phones while we're driving. But I mean, he said, was, he was seriously said, cupcaking on that phone. But you said this man was making a smooth $900 while being on the phone pulling you out. With no effort whatsoever. The we, truck we, did all the work. We in the wrong business in the wrong business i'm trying to tell you i need to know where he got one of those trucks from i need to know where he learned how to use it and i need to get on that asap the now, dude just took a whole day's pay for me with no problem now later, but later on in that later on in that video you had your you had your testimony about you know about where you came from of course you said you did the lift while you you know you slept in the in the car and all like that but but you said that truck driving helped uh helped you and also oh, yeah. and also saved you. So tell us Definitely. a little bit, tell us a little bit more about your testimony. I think I think it's you know, it's it's like a lot of people, you know, you you um I, I think that in my adult life, I pretty much have it's always money has always been a stressor or a concern in some way. I mean, um, you know, if you're, you're making, you like at the last job that I had before this one, I was making 28,000 a year. And, you know, that's, that's not before taxes. So it's like, you just, to be in a position where you don't have to worry about 
or sit there or make life decisions um, every time you spend money. That that is a new feeling for me. Um, I every time I used to I used to spend money before, if it was on a bill or if it was something that I really needed, it was always a life decision. I had to in order to do this, I had to go without that. You know what I'm saying? And um and to and for the first time in my life, I don't have to. It's, it's not a this or a that. It's not even the thought. It's get what you need to get, and and that's it. And, and to have that security as an adult, I've just never felt that before. I've, I've just never have. And it's not for a lack of motivation. It's not that I'm a lazy person. It's not that I don't keep a job. I do all of things. It's just that if you are not making enough and you're not covering everything, money is going to always be a stressor for you. And I don't, well, I don't know about everybody else, but it's definitely one for me. And for the first time in my life, I not stress <laughs> whatsoever. And that's what trucking has done for me. You know, like, again, like I said in the video, I'm not out here, you know, like I don't have like these big ass fat pockets. I don't have nothing like that. I mean, um, but I'm okay. And I, I feel good about that. I definitely you, feel good about that. You now, you, you started with Swift, you left Swift. So where did you go to actually get your license? Um, I don't wanna talk about that. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to say I don't want to tell the company because I I work for the company. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Well, we don't we 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 don't have to we we don't have to Sorry. talk about the company and all like that. That's no, that's cool. It's always cool not to not you know I I say this in my videos too. You know not to not to give out your company and all like that because you know you probably have some people that own some bullshit. You know. Oh yeah, you know, definitely. It is what it is, you know. These Definitely. even even these even these truck drivers out here. This is this is what I freaking hate, and that's why I brought me a damn shade. So I hate when a truck driver comes up window to window and just stares at you like what? Okay. <laughs> They can't stand my ass. They do it all the time. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm looking at dude like, you know, right. I, I I'll give him the deuce. It's like, sup, bro? But they just steady, you know, nose to nose, just being nosy and to see what the fuck you doing in there. Hey, bro, you on the phone? Better than me, because you are, give them, I give them the other thing. Are, I, are, I, I can't. Are you on a, Are you on the phone? Are you watching? Are you watching videos? Are you? What what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Right. Damn. Like, move on, man. Do this. But yeah, they, right. yeah, they, 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 they tried, you know, people try, you know, people try to, you know, mess up your livelihood. And I just, I just don't understand. It, so. And it's, and it's real. Like I, like the other day, um, there was a young lady who, um, there was, it was, it was me and another girl that was out here, um, part. And, um, I don't know what she was doing, but she went in there to the inside the travel stop or whatever. And she had a few choice words with, with, with some guys or whatever. So she got back in the truck, nothing else, nothing of it. She pulls off the next morning and they pulled her, um, they pulled her release on the truck, on the trailer. Wow. They did. I was like, oh my God. All of a sudden you heard this loud thud. And I happened to look out and completely detached from the trailer. Wow. That girl cried so hard, and the dudes was over there just laughing. I man, I would have took my bat and went to, went to war. It's, man, wow. it's, it's crazy. That you know, I, I guess I you know I, I guess it's sometimes it's just best not to fuck with these dudes. That, I make sure I check this truck every time I get. I'm about to move. So in. she so she went in there. She went in there and started something with them. I don't know if she, I don't know who started it, but I know I remember seeing as she was walking out, she was they was going back and forth, mm. and she just kept walking into her, you know, she just kept walking, got into her truck or whatever, and it was I thought it was over with, um, and I was I think I was on my thirty two at that time, and that next morning, she pulled out, and all of a sudden you heard this thud because she was like two trucks over from me, and I look up past my curtain mm. and. The trailer is still sitting over there and she almost in front of my truck. See, that's why it's always, 
it's always better than number one. Check your shit. And number two, yep. you know, try to keep try to keep conflict down to a minimum because these niggas is watching. They are. They, they, they are, are watching. Like, I don't say nothing to nobody. They, I they go in watching. and I come right back out. You know, because you don't. No, say, I don't you know, say nothing to nobody. You know, you know, so, like I said, it's just you, a truck driver's mind is it's just like a cop's. It's not wired right. If you ask me. <laughs> if you ask me. D the trucker, thank you for coming on this evening. Let me make sure I got the right one before I give you that. There we go. Thank you for coming on this evening. And, and, thank you for having me. And sharing your testimony with us. You know what I'm saying? I got some quick awesome. questions. I got some quick questions for you before we get on up out of here. Uh, okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Gotta pull it back up. Uh hold on. Uh there we go. All right, got some quick questions for you. Let's go. Um, one thing about orientation you don't like. Well, you gotta remember when I went through orientation was during COVID. So they it was really short and like I didn't think we didn't learn anything in orientation. Like, cause they was too busy trying to keep us separate from each other. And so I didn't learn anything from it. I did, I thought it was pointless. I thought orientation was pointless. Mm. Which one of which one of these you fuck with? Loves TA Petro Pilot or Flying J? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a love girl. I like loves. I don't know why, but I like loves. Yeah, because I get my fresh fruit from there. I get my fresh fruit from love. love I like fruit. You no fresh fruit. What the hell? Come on, the cantaloupe and the watermelon. Come on. See, I don't fuck with that. I, I like the oranges. No, 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 no. They get soggy too fast. Uh, that, you got to, you got to get them right when they pull them out. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Ramen, Nelly, or Garmin? I don't know because I don't have either one of them. Why? You have. I just haven't gotten a chance to go get you one. Okay. I use co I use Copilot on my phone. All right, we 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 gonna have to come back to that one at a later date. We we gonna need to get you up to be. We we gonna need you to get up to a Garmin, because what happened? Whatever just, we, what happened? Either a Garmin or a Ram and Nally. We gonna have to get you one of those. Because let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, and I know this is quick questions, but let me ask you this: What will happen if your phone lose the data? Then what? The phone lose the data? What do you yes. mean phone lose the data? The, the phone, when you know, when you go through these areas, you don't have no oh, data oh, service. Oh, oh, I got, but, but Copilot does offline stuff. Mm. So like once it's, once it's loaded, it's there. Oh, okay. I haven't had a problem yet. I think that's the reason why I haven't gone and gotten it to, to went in there and got one yet. I yeah. haven't had a problem yet. Well, I tell you what, save a hundred dollars a week and go get you a ram in that. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure if I go on loves, I can use my points. Because <laughs> I don't use my points. <laughs> Favorite time of the day. Now, now, right, right now is perfect. It's um what time is this? Like, I think it's like five, six o'clock right now. Give me a second. Yeah, it's six o'clock right now. Okay. Um, sun is still out. Um, sun is starting to set a little bit. This is this is this is a good time. I'm wide awake. I'm nowhere near falling asleep. This is where I get my best driving in is around this town. All right. All I right. don't need no so, coffee. So you down, so you move, you you stayed up in Brooklyn, moved down south, and now you're Georgia. With the exception yep. of Georgia, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Florida. Oh, you said in the world. Okay, in the world. Uh Amsterdam. Love to go to Amsterdam. Love Amsterdam. To there. Ain't that the ain't that the free weed over there? Exactly. Live lo, live live life love all that type of shit over there. <laughs> no, but they got they got they got universal health care and you know and and um, it's like one day. of the happiest happiest county countries and stuff like that. I visited once. I liked it a lot. I would I would move there. 
healthcare over here is I, I think insurance fucks up the healthcare. That's that's just my opinion. Sorry, that's what I feel. Just oh, me. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. I'm over here shopping for healthcare right now. Uh three words that best describe you. Um <laughs> three words that describe me. Um I just, I don't think I have three words. I just go in and do it. I don't know. You say just do it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a strong person. I know how to hustle. I know to get the things that I need. Um, I'm never going to be down for too long. Um, I always rise above the occasion. I'm always going to be all right. I don't, I don't have three words. I'm sorry. That's what's up. All right. One movie you can watch over and over again. Hollow Nights. Oh. Hollow Nights. Oh, that's a good one. Eddie Murphy. I can I can watch I can watch um I can watch Harlem Nights. I can watch The Golden Child over and over again. Oh, I can watch Malcolm X. I can watch any Spike Lee movie over and over again. Okay. Um, it, yeah, yeah. Anything with uh oh, The Equalizer. I don't know why, but that that Equalizer movie. Denzel watching the Equalizer. That's my shit. I can watch that over and over. Again. Shit, anything. I like so, I like a lot of action. Any anything with Denzel Washington, I, I mean Washington, I fuck with. Um, what does the weekend means to a truck driver? Not being in this damn truck. <laughs> Not being in this truck is a good weekend. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. All right. Well, there, joking. well, there it is, everybody. D the trucker. All right. You take it easy. You have a blessed night, and uh, if any time you need to get at me, get at me. I will do that. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. I really do appreciate it. I had, a, I had an awesome time uh, <laughs> chopping it up with you. Where do you, where, you know, going forward, um, going forward and everything, where do you think you see yourself in five years? Five years, I'm hoping to have a few, um, few properties maybe have a few airbnbs maybe have a few rentals um that's what i really want to um get into that's what i'm stacking my money up for so i can get into that maybe some wholesaling i definitely want to have um, a home of my own definitely want to move my mother in because she's getting up there in age so have a, a a place for her so she not have to worry um and and that's pretty much it just to have some um uh oh Oh, there oh, sorry, give me a second. There we go. Um, just to be as as financially secure as I possibly can. That's, that's pretty right. much the goal for right now. Do you do you have any kids? I do not have children. No, I don't think I could do this if I had kids. Mm. But I, it's like you know the job the jobs that I've had it, it kind of like changed changed me from wanting to have children. So do, okay, so you so you say you don't want to have no children. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. All right. Well, that's, <laughs> I'm on the fence about kids. Well, that's what's up. Thank you very much for coming on again. Uh, you are a citizen. So if you ever want to come on again and chop it up with me, you got my number. Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Just hit me up. I will do that. I will do that. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you. you very I love your welcome. show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope everybody. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. I'm just saying. And that's going to do it for the Lockout Man podcast show for this evening. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Hit that like button. That's what I'm saying. Hit the like button. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All that, all that good stuff that you guys could do. If you want to come on to the show, you can do so by hitting me up in the demon, uh, D-mail. D email, yeah, that's a new word. I don't know, but I want to use it. DM over at Instagram or Gmail at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, everybody, I will come back at you with another video. Peace. This show, yeah, get it in. Yeah. Party over here, get it in. Yeah. She like a liquor clear, get it in. Yeah. She get it from a deal, get it in. Yeah. Disappear, get it in, yeah. Park it in the rear, get it in, yeah. Now make it reappear, get it in, yeah. Freak it with no fear, get it in, yeah. Hop, hop, hop it in the clutch, girl, get it in, yeah. Jump on it, double touch, girl, get it in, yeah. Drop, drop, drop it, double clutch, girl, get it in, yeah. Pump it up, butt lift. Now
down shift.